Greetings, this is Sean, and today I'm going to show you how I make my miniature brick wall for my new project. It's going to be a uh, conservatory, Victorian style, which I may end up doing a uh, steampunk type look. But anyway, um, this is a quarter inch uh, foam board that I'm taking the paper off of one side. I'm taking the paper off of this side here, and... Um, uh, what that does is that gives you a, a, a nice brick texture, and you'll see it later close up. And uh, I'm march marking these uh, lines here, which um, are going to be half inch by quarter inch. So each brick is going to be a quarter inch thick and half inch long. And here I'm just marking out the quarter inch marks for going across. And then I'm going to take my pick and just score along the lines kind of deep, not too deep, about not quite a quarter of the way through the foam. Now I'm going to be marking off the half inch marks. And I do two rows of each side. Obviously, you're supposed to stagger them, so I move it over a quarter of an inch. My ruler's got a bad mark on the end of it, so I had to turn it upside down. And uh, anyway, I took a pencil and retracted uh, the lead so that I can just use the point of it to mark the grout lines. And once I get two rows of each done, then I'll turn it and I use the ruler for those two lines to go across and it seems to go rather rather quickly doing it this way. And as you can see at the top of the screen I do have many of these I have to accomplish. I have eight of them that are three and a half inches by three inches which is what I'm working on now. I've got ten of them that are seven and a half inches long by three inches tall. And these are actually going to be like a pony wall on the outside of the conservatory. Uh, the rest of it will be glass, so I'll have a brick on the bottom and glass the rest of the way up. Anyway, I'm using some getting ready to paint here, and I'm using a, it's a moccasin brown, jet black, snow white, and this is a true red color. And I mix about equal parts of the white, the black, and the brown together to make a kind of a grungy gray color, as you'll see. And I use that to as a primer basically because that'll it was supposed to originally start off with that color being the color of the grout lines but as you'll see later on I don't get the dry brushing technique very well that I'll do with the red so I end up going back over it later with the black wash but all is good this just kind of establishes a nice primer gets there all the white gone from the brick. I'm just making sure that I hit all the lines, making sure all the white is gone, like I said. And then I do around the edges too, just to make sure that I uh, get up all covered. But each of these walls is going to be next to a post and touching the ground and there will be a rail of wood that goes over the top of each one so it's really not necessary if I do that but I did it just to make sure. Anyway here you can see a close-up of the texture and the gray wall or the, the gray grout color looks just like gray bricks and those cracks will actually be used, you know, it's going to be an older looking, you know, not really dilapidated, but just it's been sitting around for ages. And so some of the brick is starting to crumble, which is fine. Not a problem. Anyway, I'm going to let that dry for, well, a good 5-10 minutes or so just to make sure that it's, you know, dry enough. And then I take the red and I here's where I attempt to do a, a dry brushing, which it doesn't really work right. I don't know the proper way of doing it. I've just seen others do it. 
and uh, anyway, so I'm just going to end up painting the whole thing a light, light coating of red. There will still be some gray showing through, but I do get it in the grout lines, which I'll fix later on, you'll see. Now I'm just going to make, my next step is to make some, you know, little, you know, details and whatnot. I take the white and make some white marks all over everywhere, just at random spots, nothing, you know, no pattern or anything like that. And, uh, just how I decided to do it. red wasn't completely dry at this point which is fine because the red the white mixed in and kind of made it kind of a pink which it's just one of those details <laughs> Then I go back over it with a little bit of red and I mix a little bit of the gray in with it just to kind of make it a dirtier red to kind of cover over a little bit of the white just to make it not so white. It's more of a pinkish color just... Wow. Here I'm... That's, what I'm doing is washing off the brush. I've got a jar of water up there. Now I'm going to take the black and I'm going to make a stain or a wash, whatever you want to call it. And this is water that I'm adding to the black paint. And then I'm just going to go over the grout lines with the black to re-emphasize the, the grout lines. Real simple technique. Got the idea from... Uh, Aero over at Bentley House Minis, and uh, the idea of the foam board also came from uh, Thicket Works. Heather over at Thicket Works, she did with the peeling the paper off of the foam board. She does that. I just like the way it ended up looking. So thank you to those two. That's the completed one. That's just one of many. Try to get in close so you can see the, the texture and the detail of the each brick, the grout lines. And when the black dries, it doesn't it's not so shiny. It does end up, you know, kind of fading a little bit, which is even better. Oop, a little bit too close. Get back up. There you go. Anyway, have a better day.
Mosiah always said.